Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to talk about skewness and one way to measure the amount of skew in the distribution and that's with the Pearson's coefficient. So when we look at a Pearson's coefficient, in general we know that the direction of the skew is given by the sine of the coefficient because what the coefficient does is it compares the sample distribution with a normal distribution. So the larger the value of the coefficient, the more the distribution differs from normal distribution. When we interpret the coefficient, we know that if we get a value of zero, then our distribution is not skewed at all and it will be normally distributed. If we have a large negative value, then our distribution is skewed to the left. If we have a positive value, it means the distribution is skewed to the right or positively skewed. So in order to calculate this version of a Pearson's coefficient, we're simply going to take the mean, we're going to figure out how far is the mean from the median, we're going to take that distance and we're going to multiply it by 3. Once we've done that, we're then going to convert it into units of standard deviation by dividing it by the value of the standard deviation and then we're going to interpret it as I said earlier, a positive Pearson's is a right skew, a negative Pearson's is a left skew, and a Pearson's equal to zero gives us symmetrical data. So what I have here is a little bit of data from the Tour de France. And so I've looked at the winning time, the distance, and the winning speed. And you'll see that I have the mean, median, and standard deviation for all three variables and what I'm going to calculate real quick are these Pearson's indexes. So for winning time, we're going to take three times the mean, 87.35, minus the median, which is 86.82. We're going to divide that by the standard deviation of 3.29, and that's going to give us a Pearson's index of 0 0.49. So my Pearson's is 0 0.49 for winning time. Now for distance, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take 3 times the mean of 3518.25. I'm going to subtract it from the median of 3517.50. Standard deviation for distance was 125.27 and that's going to give me a Pearson's of 0.02 for distance. So distance 0.02. And then lastly for winning speed, I'm going to take three times the mean speed of 40.25, subtract it from the median of 40.30, and winning speed had a standard deviation of 0 0.65 and that's going to give me a Pearson's of negative 0 0.23. So this one is negative 0 0.23. So when I look at the three variables, I know that winning time is positively skewed, not by a lot, but this would have a positive skew. You'll notice this is 0.02, so distance is very close to normally distributed, but because that Pearson's isn't exactly equal to zero, this will still be considered to have a very slight positive skew. Winning speed, on the other hand, has a negative sign for our Pearson's index, so we know that winning speed is negatively or left skewed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you calculate and interpret a Pearson's coefficient for skewness. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.